Hi, everyone. Welcome back. You're still with us on the Sea Morning Show. We are right at the halfway point of our program, which leads us to our first discussion of the morning. Now, technology, as you may know, has greatly benefited and improved all of our lives and has been used extensively, including in the food and agricultural sectors. The rapid advancement of technology also allows blockchains, artificial intelligence or AI, and the Internet of Things to be applied in the agricultural sector. Can you imagine that? Welcome Jeez. to the 21st century. <laughs> the future is now. Exactly. And recently, Indonesian startups created a new innovation utilizing technology called Indoor Farming Pod. It helped optimize crop cultivation cycle, minimize harvest failures, and bring the harvest directly to consumers. That's right. Now, to find out more about this, we have with us today Greens Indonesia co-founder and chief business officer, Mr. Erwin Gunawan. Good morning, Erwin. Thank you for joining us today. Thank Good you morning. for being here. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Glad to have you. Thank so, um, let's talk a little bit about Agritech. Uh, tell us a little bit more about it, and how did you come up with the idea with, uh, sure. to begin this business? Sure, sure, sure. So um, the idea came where uh, I first came back to Indonesia in 2018. Okay. I used to live in the, in the state for 22 years. Okay. Oh, welcome back. Thank you, thank you, thank you ma'am. Uh, Columbus, Ohio. Oh. Columbus, Ohio is one of the biggest exporters of soybean and corn. Really? In okay, the state. I'm not aware of that. So living there, i familiar uh, with agriculture. Mm -hmm. Right. When I grew up, in, grew up in Indonesia, also I, I live in a small city called Pelabuhan Ratu, Sukabumi. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Java, and uh, my parents own different lands and grow okay. different crops mm -hmm. you know, there. So back in the state, uh, I, I, I seen technology there being used. Mm -hmm. So when I came back in Indonesia, um, our agriculture is still the same as back yes. 40, 30 years ago. Right. Yes. And when did you so move well. back to Indonesia? By 2018. 2018. Yes. 2018. So five years ago. Yes, yes, yes. Now, uh, my background is uh, blockchain technology and uh, supply chain. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I, wow, if the food, the way we grow yeah. food is still the same and comparable to 10,000 years ago, mm -hmm. we're not going to be able to sustain as a country. Right. right. Um, there are so many research in the world being done where they calculated in the next 20 years, if the food system hasn't been, is, uh, not changed, mm -hmm. We're not gonna have enough food for for, for 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 humanity. Okay. The planet sick now. Yes. Yeah. Fifty-two percent land cannot be farmed anymore. Mm -hmm. Really. Fresh water is depleted. Right. We only have three percent fresh water in in our planet to be used. Now, because of the climate change, global warming, right? The fresh water is getting depleted less and less every day. Increase of population too. And increase of population. Yeah. By twenty years, nine billion people are gonna live in in the planet. Right. And how can we survive? Yeah. According to their calculation, we need three planets. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. To oh, be really? able to yes. sustain what we're wow. the way we're living yeah. now. Right. Populations, food right. and everything. Mm -hmm. So new way of growing crops needed. Mm -hmm. Not an option anymore. Right. We, we have to find a solution for it. Mm -hmm. Therefore, uh, me and my partners, my co-founders, we we one year. We run around the country yeah. we're trying to learn how the agriculture being done in Indonesia and finally, right. well, we cannot just be that technology company to supply food anymore, but we need to create a solution right, right to the core. Get to the right. source of the Get problem. Get to the source yeah. of the problem. Right. How can we grow plant mm -hmm. better? Right. So, I mean, you came back in 2018 and you've seen the problems and the slow growth of agriculture right. uh, department itself right here in Indonesia. When you came with this innovation, uh, how was it perceived now, yeah, you know, by the people actually from the farming, even from the government officials itself? They are excited okay. because they are aware what's going on. Right. Um, uh, Indonesia, we, I mean, we have 278 million people, mm -hmm. right? The government, in the past five, ten years, they're also looking for solutions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How can we grow crops better? Yeah. Using technology now, we can do it, sir. Okay. okay. We our our technology called Green Spot, mm -hmm. which is controlled environment agriculture. So we create, develop the most optimal way for plant to grow. Pretty okay. Much. Everywhere, anywhere. Okay. Even inside a mall. Right. For example, in Plaza Indonesia Level Five. Yeah. Okay. We have our first live salad stations mm -hmm. where we grow everything there. We harvest. 
and prepare salad. Oh, wait, right. oh, on the spot. I've right. oh, seen yeah. it. Yes, because I do go to that mall quite right. a bit. It's just down yeah. the street. Oh, that's what You're seeing it right now, yeah. uh, evidently. Right, there you go. Okay. Oh, so, so you grow it there, too. Exactly. <gasps> there it is. So how is this different, or is it similar to what we've known before as, for example, like hydroponics mm. and kind of like more using technology mm. to help grow better and grow more even without having the land or the space to do it. Can you tell us more about Green Spot itself and its development? Right, right. Hydroponic is just one way to, to, to grow plants, right. right? But what we have is more, a lot more complex than that. Okay. Because we try to create the most optimal way to grow, which is the right. environment, right? Before technology, uh, oh, grapes. The best way, uh, the best place to grow grapes in, in Napa Valley, the right. yeah. US or France, somewhere, Italy, right. yeah. somewhere, right? Now, getting difficult because of the climate change. Yes. Mm -hmm. We cannot use that anymore. Mm -hmm. we, we need to create the best optimal way to grow, which is the environment itself, the temperatures, the growing light, the humidity, mm -hmm. the nutrition, all of those factors to grow what we have. Okay. So we create the technology to create that environment sir. Yeah. using blockchain technology, machine learning and AI, artificial okay. intelligence, to learn the best optimal way to grow. Could you yeah. give us an example of how, for example, like blockchain technology, how right. does that play into this? I'm still right. having a little bit of a difficulty wrapping my head around connecting one to the other. Okay, so machine learning and AI yes. to learn how to grow and to find the optimal, the optimal environment to right. grow, right? Blockchain is for transparency and traceability. Okay. As we know now, I mean, a lot of people now, blockchain is for cryptocurrency, right? right, right. Bitcoin, yeah. oh, blockchain, Bitcoin. No, no, no. The use of technology is a lot more than that. Mm -hmm. For example, transparency. Mm -hmm. uh, we create salad in live salad station in Plaza, Indonesia. Right. We have a QR code where you can scan the QR code and you know exactly what you're eating. Ah, okay. Where the seed is coming from, GMO or non-GMO, who plant the seed, where the seed, wow. where the plant is being harvested, right. and the nutrition fact inside your meals. The entire right. footprint of where yeah. your meal comes from. The entire footprint. Oh. That's how we use the blockchain technology. I see. Mm -hmm. That's really interesting. It's like I'm talking <laughs> to the future right now. Uh, to that note though, Mas Erwin, uh, what kind of plants and vegetables can be cultivated by Green Pond? So far we have around 25 algorithms, formula to grow different plants, mm -hmm. microgreens, uh, leafy greens, baby greens, mm -hmm. yes. edible flowers to berries, like strawberries. Oh, wow. Oh, Which is usually very expensive berries. here in Indonesia. Yeah, it's very, it's very hard difficult to grow to too, yes. yes. With the climate change, it's almost impossible to grow strawberry in Indonesia. That's yeah, right. Right. yeah. So how about uh, seasons then? Because a lot of these things that, um, you know, fruits, vegetables, some of them are very seasonal. Does this kind of rid that of its problem, rid that problem as well? You're right. Okay. There are no season for us. We can grow anything yeah. all year long because yeah. we create the best environment right. inside our green spot. Okay. Right. Now, uh, again, because some, some foods are seasonal or some foods are not available normally in Indonesia, cost is usually becoming like a factor in this as well because we can't access some of these things. So when we do, we import it and it costs a lot more and the, not to mention the time it takes to import some of these yeah. items. What, are the, what is the cost factor like when it comes to uh, technology like this? Because I can imagine it's uh, going to be some added cost to it as well. Sure, sure. Uh, there are some saying, you know, our food travel more than us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Around the world, get to us. And, yes. Oh my goodness. Yeah. yeah. Um, the cost, justifiable. Okay. You know, we plan what cannot be farmed in Indonesia, mm -hmm. right. like microgreens, uh, Japanese strawberries, mm -hmm. blueberries from the US, yeah. raspberries, I mean, difficult to plant here, yes. almost impossible, right? Yeah. So the cost justify. Okay. For example, our salad here, where we plant, we grow, we harvest, we, uh, uh, what you call it, mix into a salad, right. in mm -hmm. one, all in one place. We sell this one bowl just for 77,000 rupees. Really? Oh, wow. Okay, that is very comparable yeah. because if you right. buy salads, it can cost upwards to 100,000 or more. Yes. Yes, especially if you're using uh, not local ingredients, yeah. right? Because you imagine living in the United States, we know sometimes when it's strawberry season, it's only, what, $1.99 exactly. for like 
Oh, a big plastic oven. Yeah, and well. here you, there's only like big strawberries for 13 of them. <laughs> Buy one, get one free. Yes, yes you're yeah, right. Yeah, it's like 300,000. Yes. 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 Point eight million. Yes. yes. I've actually oh, stopped yeah. eating blue. I love blueberries because they're good uh, antioxidants. Yes. Okay. I've stopped eating blueberries because they're <laughs> just so expensive. Exactly. I just can't afford them. Wow, that's right. amazing. Right. So uh, that is something that we're going to see in the future for Indonesia and also Green Pot, right, sir? Yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, I'm so happy. Again, a mother of three. I'm thinking about cost here, guys. Now, uh, again, you already know the solutions uh, by this, but I'm not going to ask about challenges because I'm sure there are challenges, but the obstacles that you're going to see more solutions of, is there any throughout this process? Obstacle, yes. I mean, uh, I can say we are pioneering in agriculture. You know, mm -hmm. We bring the, the, the next innovations in technology to, to agriculture in Indonesia. Of course, there are many obstacles, but we have to be able to face it, you know, and 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 and, and do whatever we can to, to create that solution because we cannot afford not to. Yeah. I mean, you may not have a roof on top of your head. You can sleep, you know, in front of a store, but yes. food. Right. You cannot survive without food. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's a huge motivation for all of us in Greens. Right. Is yeah. there also um, any sort of differences that is something that is grown using technology as uh, compared to something that is grown naturally in soil or in mm. earth that we normally see in conventional farms? Mm. I mean, leafy greens, I mean, th th there are many farmers out there, you know. Indonesia is, one, is ranked second as food waste, food loss contributor uh, in the world. In the world. In the world, sir. Wow. Ranked second. 48 billion ton yeah. waste every year. 500 trillion rupiah waste every year mm -hmm. because of the complex supply chains. Right. You know, part, a lot of uh, plants have to be grown in a colder weather, right? Mm -hmm. right. Mountains, far from the cities, mm -hmm. it takes effort to yes. be delivered to us. Yeah. Therefore, food waste contributor second in the world. Um, we cannot com really compare with what being done now and what we have. Okay. Because we cut supply chains, yes. we grew right in front of you yeah. right. in, in, in a mall, so cannot really be compared. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, I imagine then one of the biggest uh, things that you are um, helping the environment in is uh, carbon footprint. Right. Because you mentioned food travels so far um, from different places just to get to your table. If you cut all that out, do you, do you have an idea? I know you're still fairly, uh, fairly new into right. this, but... Do you have an idea of how much of a re reduction this will have on our carbon footprint if you can just grow something right there and then have it to our table, like literally just steps away? Yes, yes. Just rough calculation. Yes. Up to 50%. Really? We cut carbon footprints. That That's a huge margin. No yeah. complex supply chains. Yeah. Right. right. Okay. We grow right in front of you pretty yes. much. Right. Now, Masarawan, do you think this could also be very, you know, I, we're seeing a great future on this, but is it applicable for local farmers, mm -hmm. let's say, you know, in rural areas, as we know, you know, uh, infrastructure in regards to this in Indonesia are not there yet, but right. could this be applicable for those places? Sure. So this is what we're uh, doing now. Instead of sending fresh leafy greens from Lembang, Bandung, mm -hmm. or Bali to Jakarta, they send seed. Let us grow the seed. All right. Okay. Seed is more durable, right? Okay. Sending fresh leafy greens, we right. second rank as a food contributor because fresh leafy greens easily destroyed mm -hmm. on, you know, on the road. But seed, no, we can use that. So, so farmers they grow seed for us. So they can still stay in yeah. business. Basically. It's just yeah. stay in business. Right. We grow the seed. In the city. That's where ah. the partnership is now. Okay. That's where that. the partnership yeah. is. You're right. Mm -hmm. right. So what about um, when, when we talk about um, supply and demand, mm -hmm. there is a huge demand, obviously, yeah. and it continues to grow. People are more health conscious these yeah. days. Can eventually your supply be able to meet the demands of our entire country? We have such a huge country. We have such a wide network and people located from one area to another. What is your target and your goal to eventually meet that demand? Uh, Step by step. Okay. <laughs> there are challenges, of course. but our vision is hyperlocal uh, food source everywhere, you know, throughout okay. the country, from Sabang to Merauke. Everyone can enjoy the best, the most nutritious food uh, they can. Yes. Get. Okay. Yes. Affordable. Yeah. Yes. Right. That not only people in the capital city or big cities can, you know, enjoy this, but everyone also. And you know, now the government is also 
face forwarding on stunting, right? Indeed. Children need this. Absolutely. This is the nutrition they actually need. There's been more of a focus on that these days. Anyway, yes. you, you spoke about how farmers are supplying seeds. And speaking of seeds, we've also heard that you received some pre-seed funding as well. <laughs> so congratulations. Oh, thank you. So what are your plans with this going forward? Um, startup, we try to do everything uh, lean. You know, okay. we don't have a lot of employees. No, no, oh, uh, we wear different hats mm -hmm. to do different things. <laughs> we focus on creating, developing innovation technology solutions. Okay. Uh, so we use the, the fund for that, the seed, for, the seed fund mm -hmm. for that. So. Okay, mm -hmm. great stuff. So very American, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Looking very much forward to actually visiting because, I, again, I'm yes. sure you've seen it as well. Yes. Um, passing by and passing. To be honest, I didn't really understand what was going Me on too. there. Me <laughs> too. I thought it was more like a fresh, uh, you know, fresh uh, vegetable place and whatnot. I right. did not know that you can also I eat it. I thought it was like you, bought, you buy the plants. What's happening yeah. here? But now yeah. I understand. Okay, yeah. great stuff. And we hope that uh, our viewers are able to uh, catch wind of this and yes. drop by one of these places. Yes. Masarin, thank you so much for coming here and really, you know, uh, sharing with us on Green Pie and, you know, be becoming an inspiration to all of us. Thank you so much for this. Thank, thank you, you. Thank you. Good luck. Thank yeah, thank you very much, sir. Thank yeah. you. All right. We're going to take uh, another short break here on the program, but don't go anywhere. When we return, in case you're just joining us, we're going to recap some of our earlier stories yeah. from around the world. Stay with us. The Sea Morning Show will be right back after this. Uh -huh.